Hey guys, I am back with another video and today we are going to be doing a first impressions again. I'm so excited. Um, but before we hop into the video, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new viewer, potential subscriber, just hit that subscribe button right now. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronell. I do hair, makeup, lifestyle, just a plethora of things here on my channel. So if you guys are interested in checking out something new, getting some new videos from a different type of creator, um, or as far as like, you know, the normal creators that you guys are probably used to seeing, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. And yeah, let's hop into this video. So last time I uploaded a video, I did a first impressions on the Juvia's Prilly's um, Natural Radiant Foundations. I did mention in that video that they did come out with some powder foundations, which is why we are here today, if you can tell by the title. We are here to do a first impressions um, slash review on the Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Powder Foundation. The packaging is beautiful, as always. You guys know Juvia's Place packaging is always just immaculate. Um, so I love this. I did pick up three shades. Um, I did purchase these on my own. Ain't nobody help me. Ain't nobody send me. These I purchased on my own. I originally started with these two and then I was like, mm, let me get another one just in case. So I have three shades. I have Kaduna Tan 1, Zarya Tan 2, and Cantonia Dark 2, um, which is quite a weird range that I picked, but we're going to try and see. Um, so I'm going to swatch them here. I already did all of my face except for like my eyeliner and stuff like that. I did pretty much the majority of my base, my concealer, my primer, my foundation. I did use the I Am Magic Radiant Foundation. Um, I used in this video, I used the shade Cameroon just to see like if it was gonna be a huge difference, which is not, which I guess I can use this one too. Um, so I did use that one. This is probably a tad bit darker than Burkina, obviously, um, but I still like how it looks on my skin. So I did all of that stuff off camera because I did not want this video to be super duper long with you just seeing me do the same thing that I always do. I really wanted the focus to be on the actual foundation. Um, the only thing that I need to do, I need to set my under eye, so I'm gonna try and get through these swatches. First, the first shade is um, Kaduna. I hope I'm saying it right, I'm probably not. Um, this is the packaging. It comes in very nice. Um, this is like plastic um, container, and then this is the shade. I did stick my finger in there, but um, and then it has like a compartment underneath that has like a little flat um, press uh, beauty sponge in there. So that's that shade. I didn't take the sticker off or anything yet um, for the mirror. That is tan one. So I'm just gonna take that. Ooh, it feels so silky. I love the texture of it. It feels so silky. I'm gonna do right here so you guys can see. That one's a little red to me, but you guys can see it right here. Um, this tan one, and then we have tan two, which is Zarya. Um, this is the shade of that. This kind of looks like very neutral. This is the shade that I thought was gonna match me the best. So we shall see. Again, texture is super silky. We're gonna go in with Zarya. With Zarya, you can barely see. Like you can kind of see it, but you can like barely see it. To be honest with you. Um, so that's Zarya, uh, uh, tan two, Zarya, and then this one is dark two, this is Kans Katsina, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong guys, I'm sorry if I am, sorry, um, and this is the deepest shade that I have, I didn't go any, really any darker than this because I felt like it was going to just be too much. And then there's this one, which this one actually looks pretty good too. 
We shall see though. This is tan. I mean, you can tell they're slightly different. This is um, dark two, or yeah, this is dark two, and then this is tan two. So it's slightly different tones. So this one I haven't even opened, so you can tell it's like I haven't even touched it yet. Um, so I'm not, let's do this one. Ooh, that's dark. That's pretty dark. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, it's pretty dark. Ooh, that's dark. <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> that is a no. I think I'm going to go with this one, which is tan two. Zarya, this is the one I'm going to go with to do the finish the rest of my face. Um, cause this is dark. Look at that. It'd probably be good in the summer though, honestly, but yeah. And I'm just going to go in first before I even get into that. I need to set my under eye cause it is going to start creasing. Um, it's gonna start creasing. I already see it happening. So let me do that really quick. I'm just gonna use my Fenty um, Pro Filter. What is this? Yeah, Pro Filter um, powder. This is in Honey. Okay, so now we are ready for the application. <sighs> kind of. I just want to go in and apply. I'm going to apply my contouring stuff underneath first. So I kind of want this powder to be the last, very last step. So I'm just going in. I'm going to contour really quickly. I'm using the Juvia's Place um, bronzer in Dark Deep. I'm just using the top shade up here. Now we're ready for foundation. Um, I only used about a pump and a half like I did last time. So this foundation does give me like pretty good coverage, kind of like a medium coverage. I'm hoping that with this powder, it will make it like a completely full coverage. Um, so I'm gonna go in, I saw somebody try applying this with a sponge, but I'm not gonna do that. If I was doing this without putting on a foundation, I might've done that. But since I have foundation on already, I don't wanna use a damp sponge over my foundation um, again. So I'm gonna go in with a brush. I'm going in, I think I'm gonna go in with this brush. Mm, maybe not. I'm gonna go in with something a little bit more, a little bit more fluffy, but still kind of uh, stiff. I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the Juvia's Place powder brush. Um, I believe it's a 201 J, it says J201. They only have a few sets that are like numbered and labeled. So I'm gonna go in with this one. Um, it's kind of like, it's fluffy, but it's still pretty um, stiff. So it should give you some coverage. So this shade again, I'm going in with is Azaria, which is tan two. Um, I'm curious to see how D dark one was though. I think I might order dark one, but this one I'm going in with and I'm just, ooh, ooh, picks up a lot. Look at that. I'm just gonna tap a couple of times. And then I'm just going to kind of press it like this into the skin. You know what I'm liking about this is, especially with like a natural, like a radiant kind of foundation, I feel like this really tones down that radiance, makes my face a lot more matte. And you don't need a lot like this. You, you dip it and it's like good to go. So with brushes like this, even like if I would have used the other flat tight one, I kind of like to press powder foundation into the skin for more coverage. If you want a lighter coverage, you can kind of like swirl it, but I kind of want this to be full coverage. And a little bit in front of me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Now this, this with this, I like. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I have the powder foundation on. I actually just need to set my face. I'm gonna go in with my, I need to throw this away. I'm just holding off of that. You know when you spray something, like you can't even hear nothing in here, but you know when you spray something and it's something still coming out, so I'm gonna keep spraying. It's time to throw this away. I have a whole nother bottle that I can use. I'm gonna throw this out after this, I promise. I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery baking spray. And now I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury finishing spray. So this is it, this is the finished product. I love how my skin looks with these two combined. I am more inclined to wear this foundation more wearing it with with the powder like to be honest with you um i love how it sets way better um than when i just set it with like my regular like mineralized skin finish i think i used in my last video um i don't know they work so good together it kind of it kind of gives you like a i want to say this is even more skin like to me than like the radiant like my skin looks flawless. You cannot, sorry, I'm just pressing the rest of that setting spray in. You cannot see a bump. I ain't got no bumps, but you can't see a dark spot. You can't see a dark spot. My skin looks flawless. It does not look cakely. Cakely. Doesn't, doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like, I don't know if you notice sometimes when you do kind of double up with your foundation and use a actual powder foundation it can tend to look like very dry very flaky and, it, and it'll look like that right off the bat like sometimes if you use like the wrong combination of the two um it can give you that but this looks so good how i feel like this i mean man if i if i would have found if this would have came out during my wedding i would have wore this combo i would have wore this combo hands down I would wear this because the way my skin looks the way it's giving like even like so usually like when I wear um, powder foundations or like too much powder right up in here look a hot mess and honestly I don't know if it's the combo remember the last time I was doing this video I was telling you about these bumps I don't see them here and I don't know if that's because the powder added another layer or whatever or it soaked up all the excess oil from this already so it, it it's just it looks so good like like my pores like i have like big pores right not big but visible pores right here it is like blurred honey like i this is this is a 10 out of 10 mm. filter with no filter you know i guess the filters to make up nonetheless it's giving me beat for the gods on a budget because the the powder foundation i forgot to mention this in the beginning right it's 18 dollars. 18 dollars um how many i don't know how many ounces it's 0.31 ounces um good for 24 months gives you and that's what it is see i need to read it says apply for your full complexion for actually even coverage and natural matte look. That is how it looks. It looks how your skin looks like a, it's not like a, a, a dry matte. It's like a, this is my skin matte. This, this looks so freaking good. I feel like if I wore this by itself, I would be pleased. I just didn't do that today. I didn't want to because um, I wanted like a full beat. So this looks so good. I'll do a check-in in a couple hours and close out the video later. But for right now, you can't tell me I'm not cute. You can't tell me nothing. Because this...
Thank you, Juvia's Place. You, yeah. I have a love-hate relationship with them. But this put me back. This brought me back down. This brought me back down. Okay, this brought me back down. This is good. But I will be back in a couple hours, probably about three, four hours just to check in. That's usually around the time when my oil start eating me up. I'll be back in a couple hours to give you guys my final thoughts and my final rating. But right now the rating is a 10 out of 10. Just saying. To be honest, I, 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 I wouldn't even imagine wearing this without that now. Like I, I could wear this and set it with a different powder or, or put another powder on top of it or something like that. Like granted, this is not a setting powder. This is a foundation. I could see myself. I'm more inclined and more willing to wear this more often with this powder foundation on top. I'm just going to say it. It is what it is. I'll be back in a couple hours for my final check-in. So I'm just back doing a real quick check-in. Um, my skin still looks so good. Super, still matte. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's no, everything just still looks perfect. It's been about three hours, maybe like two and a half, but everything still looks good. Sorry, I'm like rebraiding my hair, so I look a mess, but it still looks good. I love, 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 love how this is looking, guys. Like, this is... Definitely 10 out of 10. I still keep it the same as of uh, what I said earlier. Um, definitely, definitely, if you're going to pick anything up, pick up the powder foundation. It's really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't feel the need to, like, wear this longer and give you guys an opinion because um, three hours in and I'm not even, I'm not even breaking. Like, my nose, you guys know I don't really worry about my nose because my nose is what it is. Um... Everything else still looks good compared to what it has looked like before. It still looks good in person. It looks even better. So I really like it. I took a couple pictures. Um, as you can tell by my thumbnail, it looks super flawless. No filter. The only thing is, which I think it's my fault because I took too long to set my under eye. It's my under eye. But I didn't use the powder under there. So if you guys are seeing a little creasing under my eye, it's because... When I started the video, it was taking me way too long <laughs> to set my concealer. Um, so I should have did that kind of before I came on camera. Other than that, the actual powder foundation, definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.